Today we are gonna make egg roll in a bowl, and usually I use ground pork for this recipe, but I'm gonna use ground beef today. So we're gonna start out by adding our beef to a hot pan. I think it's on like medium-ish. And I need a spatula so we can break it up. And this is a super easy, like four ingredient recipe. You just need the ground beef, some uh, cabbage, whatever, coleslaw, some green onion. I bought the pre-chopped green onion. The only thing I dislike about this is if you get it from Walmart, the pre-chopped, it goes bad in like one day. And then soy sauce. And other than seasonings, that's literally all you need. So we're just gonna let this brown. We would, simple recipes are the greatest. I'm just not a fan of like gathering a bunch of ingredients, going to the grocery. It's like, do I have it in my kitchen? If yes, then I'll probably make it. Hi from Southern California. Hey, what's up? Can't wait to order your cookbook. Hey, thank you so much, Christy. I got your new book, I'm so happy. Hey, thank you, LaRose. Shout out to everybody who's gotten the book, who's going to get it. And special shout out to everyone who's left a review. I think there are, there are still 31 right now. So if you guys haven't left a review, please, please, please do so. I know, I need a meat chopper. I love the new cookbook. Hey, thank you, Nick Snana. All right, so this ground beef is just cooking along. Maybe I'll add some salt and pepper to this. Cookbook is great. Hey, I don't know when the next one is coming out, but I did make a buffalo chicken lasagna recipe that will for sure be in the next one. It's actually in the fridge. Do you guys want to see it? I'll show you. Anna's gonna be upset, so let's pretend that I'm taking, let's pretend I'm taking a cover off of it, like aluminum foil, so that it doesn't smell up the fridge. So I'm just gonna remove the cover and this is what I made. You could do it with a low carb tortilla or uh, deli meat. I used palmini lasagna and I rolled up a buffalo chicken mix. And then I made a buffalo alfredo sauce where I mixed buffalo sauce and alfredo sauce, put it in the bottom of a pan and it was so good. You need to start doing shout outs on all of your pans because I want them all. I get them all at Home Goods. Whatever they, if they have white nonstick pans, that's what we buy. It's not a cast iron pot, no. What's the name of the books? So, um, Carefree Keto is the current one and then the new one, or and then the previous one is Breaking Up With Carbs. All right, I'm gonna put this back. Are there recipes for people with diabetes? So I'm not a doctor, I can't give medical advice, but keto in general seems to be the path that tons of diabetics are able to take and either reverse pre-diabetes, reverse type two diabetes, or at least like manage whatever they're experiencing. So I would say if all of the recipes are keto friendly, I don't see why not if you have your doctor's approval to do keto or at least live a low carb lifestyle. I mean, the problem is just when you're consuming carbs and if you're sedentary, there's nowhere for them to go. So all sorts of weird things start happening inside your body. Man, leaning over this to read the comments is rough because it's like getting steam in my face. So it's just ground beef, Joel. I love you, Michael. Ground turkey. Oh, I almost got ground turkey for this. Sophia was disturbed from her nap and now she's angry. I am diabetic. I eat all of your recipes. Hey. Oh my God, this, this is just like, uh, 
I'm glad that you're able to make the recipes and enjoy them. Ordering now. Hey, thank you so much, Amy. I'm eating party pizza Saturday. So if you're having like a party and you're eating some pizza, don't feel sad about it. I actually had a dream about this last night and uh, it was so weird. It was like in the dream, I was an obesity doctor and, uh, and I was explaining to my patients in this dream that it was such a weird dream, but um, I was explaining to them that like, if you, if you label food as bad and you feel bad about eating certain foods, those are the type of people who actually become more likely to become obese than someone who like thinks of food as just like nourishment, you know? It's like, if you're eating carbs, it doesn't mean you're doing something bad. You're still putting energy in your body. Even if it's junk food, it's still just energy that allows humans to survive. And, uh, and it's like, never like eat something and then feel totally terrible about it because at the end of the day, like we are uh, just like animals who are surviving on a planet. And if you go back in time to when food was scarce and you give them pizza, it would be a disadvantage to be like, nah, I'm not gonna eat that, you know? So the, the more you can get away from guilt and feeling bad, it's actually easier to turn down the pizza because you're just like, you know what? I'm not gonna like rebel and eat a bunch of pizza. It's like maybe I'll have a bite or a piece and then that's it. But if you feel like it's terrible and you have a bite, you're like, all right, screw it. Let me eat the entire pizza, you know? All right, so the ground beef is like pretty cooked. I'm doing a bad job of mashing it up because I'm talking too much. Thank you, I enjoyed my pizza way more now. Hey, I love to hear it. Now that's not an excuse to just like quit doing keto and eat pizza every day now. <laughs> All right, so once the ground beef is cooked, I actually do have a meat masher. And you can also just eat the toppings. Thank you guys for giving that tip. That is like, one of the number one things I used to do when I lived with my parents and they would order pizza, I would just eat the toppings. All right, so the ground beef is cooked. Now you just add the rest of the ingredients. So we have our coleslaw. I keep wanting to call it cabbage. I guess it is mostly cabbage. I had a taste of an Intinema's chocolate cake today, but I only needed that small taste. That is a sign that you are just like crushing it. If you can take a bite of a crumble cookie or something, and you're not tempted to eat the whole box, that is a sign that like you are in control and that is the mindset where you can overcome obesity. It's like when you're in control of your choices. I, I mean, that's like overcoming addiction, you know? All right, so we added our coleslaw. We're gonna add some soy sauce. And at this point, you can take it off whenever you want because you just need the coleslaw to be as tender as you prefer. Bought your book today for my neighbor. I will definitely be asking to borrow. Oh, let's get it. Thank you. I remember being in control a long time ago. Well, the fact that you've been in control before is a sign you can do it now. It's like if you've done it before, that's great because you, you have a reference point of like, I've done this before. Instead of feeling guilty about like, oh, but I can't do it now, feel empowered, like, no, I've done it, so I know I can do it. Nothing has changed. Like your external circumstances may have changed, but when you wake up in the morning, you're still the exact same person you were like when you were 27 or when you were seven or whatever, you know, like you are still you. All right, so. We added our green onion, now the seasonings, garlic powder. You are so right, I lost 43 pounds, messed it up, working on fixing it now. You got this, I believe in you. I gained 15 pounds during pregnancy and when we had Sophia. And then I got back on track and dropped it in like two months. So ginger, garlic and ginger, that's really all you need. 
And you could do fresh if you want. And guys, I went heavy on the beef and not as heavy on the coleslaw because I like it to be meaty. You can double the coleslaw. I'll put the measurements in the caption, but this is how I like it. It's like cooked perfectly now, in my opinion. So we're just gonna put it on a little plate and taste it. This is my first time tasting it with beef. That baby cooing is so precious. Sophia is the most precious. It's normal for men to gain weight as well during pregnancy. Yes, because a hormone called prolactin. The encouraging words you give are so refreshing to listen to. Thank you, Mama Ferris. That's why I get on here every day. It's like, if I really, really wanted to just blow keto snacks up as much as I can, I wouldn't put much effort into these. I would just focus on reels. But when I do a reel, all I'm saying is like, here are the ingredients, yum. But when I do this, I can like really dig deep with you guys and like we can work on our mental health and our food choices together. And this is what I'm really passionate about. Yes, this is egg roll in a bowl. Uh, this recipe is in my book or it's in Breaking Up With Carbs for sure. I think it's just in Breaking Up With Carbs. Although this one has beef in it. So this is gonna be a little different, but we will find out now. So we need our spouses and partner support when we start to eat better. I wouldn't say that's a, that's necessary because I think that you are on your own journey. I mean, when I lived with my parents, when I first started like eating healthy and doing keto, I would work around whatever they were eating. They were definitely not doing keto. And if they had Salisbury steak for dinner, I would literally rinse off the piece of steak to get the sauce off and then eat it with my own like mashed cauliflower. So whatever is going on around you, you can always come back to like, this is my health. I'm responsible for it. Whatever they are eating, I'm either going to keto fi or eat something else. I don't need to have the, the breadsticks, you know? All right. What am I doing? I'm grabbing the camera so we can take a picture of this. And then we're gonna taste it once it's on a plate. What book do you have? So I'll show you what it looks like. This is my book. The new one, Carefree Keto, is like all of my updated opinions on health. Breaking Up With Carbs is also pretty good, but this one is like the newest information. And if you guys haven't left a review, I'm gonna keep asking. The other one has 1,300 reviews. And this one has 31. So let's try and get more for this one. All right, I need a plate. And we're gonna use the same scooper. Here we go. Yeah, it's just beef and uh, coleslaw. So Sophia was napping on Anna when I started the live. Yeah, this is like super meaty, just how I like it. Mmm. You can get my book on Amazon. Definitely making this for lunch. This is a perfect lunch. Made your shrimp and sausage skillet tonight. Oh, nice. All right, let me just take a quick, let's snap a quick picture. I forgot, we have to add the secret two ingredients. There are two secret ingredients we have to add. Although it doesn't look as pretty when it's like super meaty, so I'm gonna, just for aesthetic purposes, scoop out some of these veggies and put them on here. All right, so we need sea sammy seeds. Shout out to Anna, when we moved in here, she labeled all of our stuff like this. Any recommendations for a coleslaw substitute? Uh, what could you replace coleslaw with? Why would you substitute it? I don't know what you would use, like any other vegetable. I mean, at that point, it's just not egg roll anymore. All right, so now we need sriracha. Where is our sriracha? I thought I just saw it. Oh. 
This is Tabasco sriracha. Does your book have knowledge and recipes? All right, it has both. I spent a ton of time on the written part of Carefree Keto. Both books have both. But um, Carefree Keto has like a very long rundown of my life story and all of my health journey and like uh, all of the knowledge I gained. And then also it has like a beginner's guide, how to take baby steps. It even touches on things like if you decide to count calories, how can you do that without being overwhelmed? It has every piece of information you need to know for succeeding on a low carb lifestyle. And even if you want to transition off of it, it's like very helpful knowledge and then a hundred recipes and all with pictures. All right, so we're squirting the... So now I know why I usually do pork. It is just ugly with beef. It is just like dark and ugly. All right. I mean, it's fine, like it'll taste good, but it is really ugly. One, one more picture, guys. That's it. All right, that was perfect. Now, time to take a bite. I've never had it with ground beef before. I bet it would taste good with stir-fry meat, too. Ooh, you're right. Yeah, Brittany, it is, uh, it's all keto snacks. It's very scary. It's like, uh, you never know what's gonna happen. But I think as scary as it is, it's equally rewarding. So it's like, it's, it's fun and I get to do what I love, but it's like terrifying because like, where's the next uh, like mortgage payment coming from, you know? All right, guys, let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh my God. All right. It is like 7.5 out of 10, which I would say is good. But I think with pork, it's an eight out of 10. So it's not as good as with pork, but it's still really good. Mm. I love listening to Sophia, it makes me happy. It's my life all day. It's so nice. Mm. I would just use ground pork if you're using pork. What is chowder soup? I don't even know what that is. What fat percentage should I use? Uh, this was like 96.4 or something. This is pretty lean. It might be better with fattier beef. All right, but I ate an entire bowl of that buffalo chicken lasagna, so I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. I feel like I'm gonna explode, and I'm about to take Sophia running, so. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna let you guys say hi to Sophia, and then I'm gonna get off here. Can Sophia say hi, or are you guys having fun? Hi. How was your nap? How was your nap? How was your nap? Hi, Sophia. Hi. Say hi, Sophia. <gasps> Sophia's interested in the egg roll in a bowl. She's like, I want some of that. She's eating a lot of human food now. Or not human food, of adult food now. Hi, Sophia. Can I give her a little piece of beef? As long as it doesn't have like anything spicy on it. Yeah, it's not. It's like a little bit of ginger and garlic. All right, guys, let's see if she does it. Little piece of beef. <laughs> yummy, yummy, Sophia. Oh, wait, did she swallow it or did she spit it out? 
What do you think? She has it in her mouth. She's just sucking on it. What do you think, Sophia? Is it yummy? Is it yummy? Uh. All right. I don't want to have her choke on Instagram Live. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here. Thank you guys so much for all of the fun talk and for everyone who's gotten the book and left a review. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. I love you and I believe in you. And Sophia believes in you. Hi. She still has the piece of beef in her mouth. Shout out to Tizay Tizaikai. All right.